Once I've examined the dolls, I can start to do some online research to find out more information about them. This sticker right here is all of the information that came with the dolls. So, handmade by Sabra, Sabra made in Israel. This right here, 2014.4.1, is the accession number that will go into the catalog to classify the doll at the Magnus Museum. So I can start by doing some simple Google searches to see what comes up. There are a lot of dolls that look similar that are being sold on eBay. This doll right here is the same as this man. But the seller has limited information. Um, this right here, what the doll is made of, is useful. The seller thinks that the doll was created in the 1960s, but that might not be accurate. I can try to search for what's on the sticker, handmade by Sabra, made in Israel. Again, the same man. This description, however, includes a book, The Encyclopedia of Regional Dolls of the World by Marjorie Fangus. I can try to look that up. So it's possible I could find more information in this book if it's in either the Magnus Museum Library or a library on the UC Berkeley campus. Now that I have that name, 
Zangus, who wrote the book. You can see if there's any more information. Again, there are a lot more postings mentioning this book. Here it mentions that book, and it mentions an exhibition at the Eretz Israel Museum in Tel Aviv. So I can open a new window. Find the Eretz. This is real museum. You can look for past exhibits. Right there, I'll land in its stalls. So they were meant as souvenirs portraying the national costume of Israeli citizens between the 50s and the 70s. Again, if there's an exhibition catalog for this exhibit, that could be helpful. In the meantime, I could see if anything else has been written about it. the whole article. Hmm. So here Sabro is one of several craft workshops in Israel. Um, dolls are classified into types. We have farmers, youth movement members, Orthodox and Hasidic Jews, Arabs, jug carriers, soldiers, Yemenite Jews. If we look at the dolls that we have, some of these types seem to fit. We have an Orthodox or Hasidic Jew, this woman, and this woman could be Yemenite Jews. Here it could be a farm worker.
Here's another article about the exhibit at the Eretz Museum. This identifies a Yemenite Jew with long side locks and an elaborate ethnic garb. That could be this man right here who has side locks. This right here identifies a doll in a blouse and khaki shorts as a chalutz or a pioneer. Again, that could be this doll right here who's holding a hoe and wearing a sun hat. Although it could also be a worker on a modern day kibbutz rather than a pioneer from the early 20th century. As I'm going through this, I'm going to start taking notes. So right here is some of the information that I found either by examining the dolls or from those initial eBay searches where the seller had identified the medium it was made from. Here I've listed the two books that I found. And here for each doll, I have an initial description that I can go back to and refine. For example, this doll, which in that article seemed to indicate it was a halutz or pioneer woman. But there is the possibility, because she is scaring a hoe, that she could be from a more modern day kibbutz from the latter half of the 20th century. Could also be a youth movement member, which was one of the other types listed in that article. Committee of Museums. Again, a listing on that one exhibit at the Eretz Museum of Israel. This article breaks up the national costume dolls into four eras, but it seems from what I've found so far that the Sabra workshop was functioning starting in the 1950s and going up until at least the 70s.
again, there's this idea of the halutes or pioneer or members of socialist youth movements who are wearing embroidered shirts and blouses, much like this female one. You have religious Jews, Arabs, Yemenites, in traditional clothing. Here's a description of some of the types that the museum in Israel has classified. So a Yemenite doll has traditional dress, men wear have side locks, females have head coverings, wearing embroidered pants, often carrying something or beating a drum or tambourine. So if we look at the dolls, that description fits these two dolls. A man beating a drum with side locks, a woman with a head covering, carrying a basket. Here as well, this woman with a head covering, beating a tambourine, it looks like. So those could be Yemenite dolls. The Orthodox Jew dolls. women lighting Shabbos candles, ultra-Orthodox men. Again, that could be these two here, a woman lighting candles for the Sabbath. This man holding a Torah, wearing a stremel. He could be further identified by looking into what kind of a stremel he's wearing. Arab dolls, the female dolls are usually carrying a bundle on their heads. that could possibly correspond to this doll right here. The textile pattern on her front looks significantly different from this woman over here who might be a Yemenite Jew. So she might be an Arab doll. So now that I have an idea of what I'm looking at, I can start to find information on the exact piece of clothing that the dolls are wearing. This man, for example, might be the easiest. Um, he's wearing what looks like a talus and carrying a Torah. Um, His hat is probably his most unique feature. I can look up Stremels and see which one corresponds to what the doll is wearing.
start with a quick Wikipedia search. But that doesn't give images. I can also go on to the Uvo Encyclopedia, see if there are perhaps images there of different types of stromals. Hmm. Unfortunately, no. I can also look on the Encyclopedia Judaica. See if I have luck finding something there. Mm, no. So I can return to a Google search. There's an article through the Evo Encyclopedia. Okay, here's some pictures. Now, 
This looks very similar to what our doll here is wearing. So it could be an ultra orthodox. So it's an ultra orthodox Jewish man, possibly Hasidic. or from a Yerushalami community. So those seem to be the two options. None of these head coverings look like it. Okay. Moving on to this, these two women. They seem to be wearing similar types of dress. Um, could look up Yemenite dress. In the Encyclopedia Judaica. There's a section on dress. But there's not. I can do a Google search for Yemenite Jew dress. It's a Jewish virtual library. Does that have a section on dress? Yemenite Jewish women wore a hood hat that fastened under their chin, very much like this woman here who seems to be wearing a hood. Dress with long sleeves and pants underneath that fits the description. So she's likely a Yemenite Jew. embroidery around the edges and the collar. Again, that fits both this woman carrying the basket and this woman with the tambourine. Yemenite Jewish men wear knee-length shirts with a longer dress over it, a pocket, plain felt cap. What is seat seat? Fringes. So this man here fits some of that description. He's wearing a knee length shirt with a long dress shirt over top. As in the other um, 
one of the previous articles, yes, the side locks. They wore a payout. What is that? Mm, payout Yemen. Oh, the side locks. Yeah. So it would seem that he here is also a Yemenite. Man. Yeah. Side locks. Okay, this is a fairly distinctive drum. Could again try to search for what kind of drum that is. Mm, so it's not this Be easier to look for pictures of it and then find out what it is. It's similar to this, but it seems narrower, more rounded on top. Almost looks like this. A goblet drum. That's possible. This right here could possibly be what this Yemenite woman is playing, either a tambourine or this type of drum. wonder if they have images of the instruments that they teach. So once each of the dolls has an adequate description that has been researched 
it's then checked by the curator of the Magnus Museum and eventually it is entered onto the online database the catalog for the Magnus Museum each short description for each of the seven dolls is entered here. And the information that was found on it is added to the description section. The information that's found on the company Sopra and eventually the dolls will be photographed and their pictures will be added 